Okay, we're going to do a little bit of low temperature soldering here. I just wanted to show you what we're using. Using a paste flux. This is low temp, so we can use paste flux. Uh, the pipe has been cleaned. This is not used pipe, but we'll call it new old stock. It's been laying around forever. It has to be cleaned up. You can sure tell the difference between the oxidized side and the clean side. And it must be clean and do not put your fingers on the clean part once you got it clean. Because the oils in your fingers can blow the joint. Okay, the flux goes on the uh, uh, male side like that. I tend to use quite a bit of flux. Uh, then we got the uh, soldering material. This is a lead free solder. Everything's lead free anymore. Uh, and we're going to go ahead and uh, solder three joints with a uh, just a propane torch. Propane torch is pretty good for this because the, the heat isn't real high and you don't want it real high. You don't really want this pipe to get out hot and it's a fairly large volume flame. Okay, uh, here's my fitting. It's a T, so I got three pipes in it. Uh, I've put my fitting in, all the rest of them are cleaned up. One of the things I'm doing here, when you do a solder joint here, never ever leave one of them open like that. Don't leave it like that. The reason I'm telling you not to do that is it'll overheat that part because when you start warming, so let's say I started here and went up to here and then I came down and put a pipe in here later on. That is going to be all corroded. There's going to be uh, copper oxide all over it and it'll have to be cleaned again and a lot of times it's really hard to make it work with this low temp stuff. So you want all the pipes assembled when you do this thing. Don't do it with the pipes disassembled with one open. That's for a T, for an L, for a coupling, any of those things. Okay, that's a torch I'm going to be using, just propane, it's not MAP or anything like that. And it's a self-lighting torch. What I'm going to do is I'm going to start at the lowest one. I don't know that it's real important you do this, but heat tends to go up. So I, I tend to do it this way. I start at the lowest one, then go to this one, and then go to this one. Now this is going to work by capillary reaction because these pipes fit in here pretty tightly. When the heat is right, the solder will just kind of suck up in there and it'll actually go all the way around. Sometimes I follow it a little bit, but it does go up there pretty good. It, it comes up pretty good on its own with this stuff. Uh, this, is, this stuff is like water when it's melted. So, and some of it will be running down here and stuff like that. And there's ways you can deal with that, but I'm not going to go in with those into those right now. Okay, here we're going to start heating this thing up. Uh, you can see the flame is melting the flux. And you're trying to control this. You're doing the bottom one first, and you're on the uh, female side to heat up there, and it's going to heat up the other pipe. And you're touching on the opposite side with the uh, solder material waiting until it will actually suck up and it actually sucks up pretty fast like right there it's pretty much sucked up in there okay you're going to do the next one this will be pretty quick it goes right around it's done and this top one's already hot so we don't have to keep do much to it and it just sucks right around it and now we're going to take a look at the joint okay you can see all the joints have that little fillet on there and you can tell they've sucked in and that's how to do the low temp solder joint this probably looked pretty simple if you haven't done much of this it's not quite that simple uh, I've been doing it for a very long time so most of my stuff comes out uh, but they can be, uh, if you're not watching your temperature, temperature is, a, is the issue here. If you overheat the fittings, if you get it too hot in here, 
it's going, especially if you start doing this, you kind of want to keep that flame on it, maybe back it up a little bit to cool it down so it doesn't heat so fast, but keep the flame envelope more or less around it. That keeps oxygen from getting in there and um, giving you copper oxide in the pipe. But anyway, that's how to do that. Uh, I'm sure there's plenty of people will have other ways to do it and think I'm full of crap, but that's okay. That's, uh, this is the way I do it. So that's low temp soldering on the copper pipe.